Hello everyone, this is my sixth brain dump. Alright, the company is currently using the following configuration. IES server with certificate based EAP PEEP and MS chat and unencrypted authentication via PAP. A security administrator needs to configure a new wireless setup with the following configurations. PAP authentication method, PEEP and EAP provide two-factor authentication. Which of the following forms of authentication are being used? Answers are A and C. It's uh, PAP and MS chat. An auditor wants to test the security posture of an organization by running a tool that will display the following. Which of the following commands should be used? It's A, MB stat. A company determines that it is prohibitively expensive to become a compliant with the new credit card regulations. Instead, the company decides to purchase insurance to cover the cost of any potential loss. Which following is the company doing? It's A, transferring the risk. They're transfer that risk over to the insurance company. A company is using a mobile device deployment model in which employees use their personal device for their work at their own discretion. Some of the problems companies have is incurring is um, there's no standardization. Employees ask for reimbursement for their devices. Employees do not replace their devices often enough to keep them running efficiently. The company does not have enough control over the devices. Which following is a deployment model that would help the company overcome these problems? It's D, CYOD. A botnet has hit a popular website with a massive number of Jerry encapsulated packets to perform a de massive denial of service attack. Uh, news outlets discover a certain type of refrigerator has was exploited and is used to send outbound packets to the website that crashed. To which of the following categories does the refrigerator belong? <clears throat> it is C, uh, which stands for item of things. Users report the following message appears when browsing the company's secure site. The website cannot be trusted. Which of the following actions should a security analyst take to resolve these messages? Select two. It's uh, A, verify the certificate has not expired on the server, and C, update the root certificate into the client computer certificate store. When trying to log on to a company's new ticketing system, some employees receive the following message, access denied, too many concurrent sessions. The ticketing system was recently installed on a small VM virtual machine with only the recommended hardware specifications. Which of the following is the most likely cause for this error message? And it's C, the virtual machine does not have enough processing power. Joe, an employee, wants to show his colleagues how much he knows about smartphones. Joe demonstrates a free movie application that he installed from a third party on his corporate smartphone. Joe's colleagues were unable to find the application in the App Store, which of the following allowed Joe to install this application. Select two. It is uh, rooting and jailbreaking and sideloading. Which of the following can provide uh, guides to an AA system for the edification phase? A, username. Which of the following implements two-factor authentication? It's uh, B, an ATM requiring a credit card and a PIN, because it's something you have, you have the card, and then you have the PIN, which is something you know. This one, the first one won't work because a phone requiring a PIN to make a call. Now, a computer requiring username and password, those are both things you know. A data center man trap requiring fingerprint and iris scanning? Nope. It's B. Malicious traffic from an internal network has been detected on an unauthorized port on an application server. Which of the following network-based security controls should the engineer uh, consider implementing? It's uh, A, ACLs. Access Control Listings, thing stands for. A network administrator wants to implement a method of securing internal routing. Which of the following should the administrator implement? It's a C, VPN. A security administrator developing controls uh, for creating tra uh, audit trails and tracking if a PHI data breach is to occur. The administrator has been given the following requirements. All access must be correlated to a user account. All user accounts must be assigned to a single individual. User access to the PHI data must be recorded. Anomalies in PHI data access must be reported. Logs and records cannot be deleted or modified. Which of the following should administrator implement to meet the above requirements? Please select three. So we're going to want to eliminate shared accounts. We're going to implement usage auditing and review. And perform regular permission audits and reviews. 
Which of the following encryption methods does PKI typically use to securely project keys? It is C, asymmetric. An organization is using a tool to perform a source code review. Which of the following describes a case in which the tool incorrectly identifies the vulnerability? It is a false positive. An organization internal auditor discovers a large sums of money has been recently paid to a vendor that management does not recognize. The IT uh, security department is asked to investigate the organization, the organization's ERP system, to determine how the account payable module has been used to make these vendor payments. The IT security department finds the following security configuration for the account payable module. As you see here, new vendor entry, required role, account payable. We have all three as clerk, and the vendor payment approval is the accounts payable manager. Which following uh, changes to the security configuration of the accounts payable module would best mitigate the risk? It is A. New vendor entry uh, required role should be account payable clerk. The new vendor approval should be the account payable manager. The payment entry should be the payable clerk. And the vendor payment approval, again, it should be the manager. Managers approve, basically, on this one. A department head at a university resigned on the first day of the spring semester. It was subsequently determined that the department head deleted numerous files and directories from the server-based home directory while the campus was closed. Which of the following policy procedures could have prevented this from occurring? It is C, offboarding. So you have onboarding, give them access. You have offboarding, make sure you're taking away access. That way they're not going to go around and you know, sabotage, delete things. It's all part of the offboarding process. A database uh, backup schedule consists of weekly full backups performed on Saturday at 12 a.m. and daily differential backups also performed at 12 a.m. If the database is restored on Tuesday afternoon, which of the following is a number of individual backups that would be needed to be applied to complete the database recovery? It's B, 2. Which of the following security controls does an iris scanner provide? It's D, physical. And that's like you're like inside your eye. <laughs> As a part of a new industry regulation, companies are required to utilize secure standardized operating system settings. A ten, uh, technical must ensure the operating system settings are hardened. Which is the following best way to do this? It is B. Use a configuration compliance scanner. A user has attempted to access data at a higher classification level than the user's account is currently authorized to access. Which of the following access control models has been applied to this user's account? It is A, MAC, or MAC. Don't confuse this with MAC address and stuff, just MAC. A security consultant discovers that an organization is using the PCL protocol to print documents utilizing the default driver and print settings. Which of the following is the most likely risk in this situation? And it's actually B. SNMP data leaving the printer will not be properly encrypted since it's using the default settings still. An organization finds that most help desk calls are regarding account lockout due to a variety of applications running on a different systems. Management is looking for a solution to reduce the number of account lockouts while improving security. Which following is the best solution for this organization? And it's going to be to implement SSO, which is single sign-on. Single sign-on allows you to be able to have multiple applications open with that single logon to the uh, computer or application set, basically. All right. A user said that someone has been accessing a home network without permission by spoofing the MAC address of the authorized system. While attempting to determine if the authorized user is logged onto the home network, the user reviews the wireless router, which shows the following table for systems that are currently on the home network. Dad, PC, mom, PC, junior PC, unknown. No, there's on, off, on, off. All right, which of the following should be next to the set to determine if there is an unauthorized user on the network? Simplest way, especially when you're at home, I mean, just physically check each of the authorized systems to determine if they are logged onto the network. So it's B. When performing data acquisition on a workstation, which of the following should be captured based on memory fatality? Select two. It's going to be the swap page file and the RAM, random access memory. A system administrator is reviewing the following information from a compromised server. 
Given the above information, which of the following processes was most likely exploited via a remote buffer overflow attack? And it's the APACHE. I just see no zeros, and it's going right to this. And attack compromises a public uh, CA and issues unauthorized X.509 certificates for company.com. In the future, company.com wants to mitigate the impact of similar incidents. Which of the following would assist company.com with this goal? And it is A, certificate pinning. A system administrator is attempting to recover from a catastrophic failure in the data center. To recover the domain controller, the systems administrator needs to provide the domain administrator credentials. Which of the following account types is the system administrator using? And it's D, user account. The security administrator has found a hash in the environment known to belong to malware. The administrator then finds this file to be in the uh, pre-update uh, area of the OS, which indicates it was pushed from central patch system. It's 186. Yeah, it's the file right here. There's the hash for it. The administrator pulls a report from the patch management system with the following output. Given the above outputs, which of the following most likely happened? It is B. The file was infected when the patch manager downloaded it. The network administrator at a small office wants to simple, simplify the configuration of mobile clients connecting to the encrypted wireless network. Which of the following should be implemented and the administrator does not want to provide the wireless password or he certificate to the employees? It's AWPS. When connected to a secure WAP, which of the file encryption te uh, technologies is most likely configured when connecting to WPA2 PSK? It is BAES. The company um, has a data system with definitions for private and public. The company security policy outlines how data should be protected based on type. The company recently added the data type proprietary. Which of the following is most likely the reason for the company added this data type? And it is for C. Beta, better data classification. When configuring settings in a mandatory access control environment, which of the following specifies the subjects that can access specific data objects? It is C, administrator. A high security defense installation recently began utilizing large guard dogs that bark very loud and excite, excitedly at the slightest provocation. Which of the following types of control does this best describe? It is A, deterrent. The dogs are deterring people from trying to get in. A company's user lockout policy is enabled after five unsuccessful login attempts. The company desk notices a user is repeatedly locked out over the course of a work week. Upon contacting the user, the help desk discovers the user is on vacation that does not have network access. Which of the following types of attacks are most likely occurring? Please select two. It is C, brute force, E, dictionary. And an employee in a payroll department has contacted the help desk citing multiple issues with her device, including slow performance, Word documents, PDFs, imaging is no longer opening, a pop-up, and states the issues began after she opened an invoice that a vendor emailed her. Upon opening the invoice, she had clicked several security warnings to view it in her word processor. Which, with which of the following is the device most likely infected? It is D, backdoor. A company is terminating an employee for misbehavior. Which of the following steps is most important in the process of disengagement from this employee? It is C. Have the employee surrender company identification. A company is developing a new secure technology that requ uh, requires computers being used for development to be isolated. Which of the following should be implemented to provide the most secure environment? And it is B. An air-gapped computer network. Which of the following is, a, is an important step to take before moving any installation packages from the test environment to production? It is B, verify the hashes of the files. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, close up this video. Stay tuned for the next one.